welcome to my channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials today we will discussing Lancashire boiler so here is the construction of the Lancashire boiler the three different faces front view side view and top view is you can see into the figure so there are so many components or you can see the boiler mountings and accessories it will be fitted onto the boiler so blow up cock, fire grate, fire hole, water tubes, water gauge, indicator, pressure gauge, safety valves, steam stop valve, main holes, high steam, low water safety valve, main sail, side flue, bottom flues. So as per the construction, the hot gases is passing inside the tube, that's why it will be called as a fire tube boiler surrounded by the water so construction it consists of the cylindrical cell and two fire tubes the cylindrical cell is placed over a brick structure the boiler have three pass of flow flue of flue gases one flue passes from inside the boiler second from the side boiler cell and third is a main flow these three passes are formed by brickwork, the main flue and two side flues. The grates are provided at the front and in and inside of two main fire tubes. Superheater is provided at the end of the main flue tubes in passage of flue gases, while an economizer is at end of the side flues before exhausting the gases to the chimney. So generally superheater is used to increasing the temperature of that steams which will be required as per my applications and the economizer is generally used to increase the temperature of inlet water working the call is introduced to the grate through the fire holes the combustion of the coal take place in the presence of air which is generally regulated by the damper the combustion will be produce hot gases so path of the flue gas is great flue tubes bottom flue side flue chimney and to the atmosphere the hot gases from the grate passes through back end of the tubes and then into the downward direction they moved by bottom flue to the front of the boiler where they are divided into two stream and pass into the side flues they move along two side flues and enter chimney and discharge to the atmosphere. Some of the advantages of the Lancashire boiler due to the three passes of the flue gases, the heating surface area per unit volume of boiler is large. The fluctuation in load can be easily made by this boiler due to the large reservoir, easy operations, low maintenance cost, easy to clean and inspect. By use of the economizer and superheater, maximum heat of the flue gases is utilized. So efficiency of an boiler can be increasing. There are some of the disadvantages of Lancashire boiler. Maximum working pressure is limited to 16 bar only. Due to the brick works, more floor area is required. Response of pressure built up is less. The furnace is inside the tubes. Therefore, the great area is restricted. Thank you very much. If you like my channel, subscribe, like and share mechanical magic and mechanical learning tutorials. Thank you.